Alright, so um, I just saw this pop up on X and I wanted to show this to you guys because this is a first, I guess, exclusive look. Uh, this is over on PC Gamer uh, for the homestead. It goes into a lot of detail, so, uh, so let's watch this. I'm Phil from PC Gamer and this is an exclusive look at Homestead, the new player housing feature arriving in Guild Wars 2's next expansion, Janthir Wilds. ArenaNet calls Homestead the most player-friendly housing system in MMOs. Your home will exist as its own instance rather than being one of a limited number of plots in a larger district, so unlike a game like Final Fantasy... Mm. Dude, I am so excited for this particular mode. I've been wanting player housing in Guild Wars 2, probably like everyone else that's played Guild Wars 2, for a really long time. Uh, this thing's gonna be a money maker. C14, you won't get the same neighborhood feel, but the benefits should be pretty obvious. You don't have to enter a lottery to claim your land, and there's no chance of getting evicted if you don't regularly log amazing. into the game. Instead, you just get access to your homestead naturally during the campaign. ArenaNet didn't go into too much detail about the story of the new expansion, but your new home is related to its new faction, the Lowland Kodan. The aesthetic reflects their cozy cabin vibe. So obviously the main draw with a player housing system is decoration, the ability to customize your space. But there are a couple of neat features built into the homestead. First off, they act as a sort of showroom for your in-game collection of skins and cosmetics. For this playtest, ArenaNet provided me with a preview account full of characters, all of them named after members of the PC Gamer team. Here they are now, just hanging out. In fact, any alt that you leave in the homestead will appear when you visit with another character. Up to 30 can sit around at a time. There's even a little cave over here with a bunch more of them. Your mounts are here too. You can find them resting. I, I, I think I said that in a video when I was covering this the first time. Um, like, would there be a part for your mounts and whatever skins you got attached to them? over by the stables meaning you at last have a way to enjoy the fancy jackal skin that you got because let's be honest how often are you actually using it in the game and you can pet the mounts it's pretty cute if you hop on a map it leaves you stable even if dude that's amazing like like well i mean to me it's amazing okay so how do i how do i explain this right i like little tiny like tiny details like that right so yeah, as he explained, if the mount's there in your stable and then you mount up on that same mount, it disappears. I, I like that. That's, I think that's pretty cool. If an alt was sitting on it, and if we head over here behind the lumber mill and over to the pier, it's your skiff. It's a small touch. That's amazing. They, they're thinking of all the stuff I'd love to see. But having a home for your mounts and vehicles is a nice shorthand for cementing this as your own personal space. Okay, the fun little aesthetic touches are all well and good, but one of my first questions when ArenaNet was explaining the homestead system was about resource modes. You see, Guild Wars 2 characters already have a little personal space for themselves. It's uh, based in their starter cities, called a home instance. There's probably a bunch of players that have totally forgotten these even exist. Uh, but for some of us, it's a daily ritual to visit and gather materials from any resource nodes we've unlocked or purchased. All of those resources are now also available in your homestead, as are any of the cats you've discovered around the world that persuaded to move in with you. All of it just carries over. That looks There's also really a good. neat little new option that should make the gathering ritual a little less onerous. Uh, if we head over to this box, there's just an auto collect button and it instantly completes any node attached. There's the present. <laughs> it's just like. No, listen. They. Okay. So Homestead is going to basically like supersede like the home instance area. But I don't want to lose the home instance. So they've got to do something with the home instance. They've got to do something with the home instance so that so that way you can have both. Right, I've got a ton of ideas. I think I've shared it on here already. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. To that building. 
This function won't be available when Janthe Wars launches. Arena plans to add it during one of the quarterly updates following the expansion's release, but even in the short term, the resource nodes here are much more efficient than in some of the home instances, by which I mean the grove. Over in this building, you will find the crafting bench that lets you create new decorations to customize your homestead. It's a completely separate system from the scribing profession used to decorate guild halls, but the benefit of that is it's going to be a lot cheaper to craft items. You will need to convert some of your materials into a new homestead crafting resource uh, and then combine it with some other resources to add that decoration to your library. I should say here, uh, this is an early development build I'm playing, so there are a bunch of placeholder icons and text throughout the build. Don't worry if you see a little little dig sign. Homestead crafting won't be tied to crafting XP at all. Instead, you'll unlock more advanced levels through the mastery system by earning experience in the expansion's new maps. Over 300 decorative items will be available when Janthia Wilds launches, uh, with Arena Net saying more will be added through festivals and quarterly updates to follow. In total, there should be a- And, and the shop. Oh, come on, man. Dude, they're going to make so much money out of this. It's going to be insane, right? They're going to go nuts. They're probably going to be able to, like... They're probably going to be able to sell, like... Like, homestead... Actual skins. Right? So, you'll get... You could have, like, an entire new skin... That will change the entirety of your homestead. It'll probably be pretty expensive. Maybe the price of, say, a mount skin. Right? Because they're pretty pricey. You know, I expect anywhere up of like 2,000 gems. But imagine like, instead of like a homestead, it changes it to like a mini gothic castle. You know. And then everything's like gothic and stuff like that. Like, dude, they could make so much cash. Around 800 decorations that will be craftable by the end of the expansion's update cycle. The majority of these will be earned in game, although, yes, some will be exclusive to the Black Lion Gem Store. Arena Net stressed to me any decorations bought either with real money or by converting your in game gold into gems will give you multiple copies of that item to place automatically and also a recipe so you can craft as many of that item as you want in the future. If you've tried decorating a guild hall in the game, uh, you'll know it's currently pretty basic. You grab a decoration, place it on the map, maybe spin it around a bit, but uh, really that's it. For homesteads, the entire decoration system has had a pretty major overhaul. For the playtest, ArenaNet dropped me into a homestead that one of the developers had already seen. Dude, look at that. You got, so you can see over like, up at, up at the top here, like look at all the boats. Dude, this is insane. Started to decorate. Rather than a static prop, these houses over here are uh, built from various floor tiles that have been repurposed as walls and roofing. Uh, the same with this lighthouse, which has been created from lots of individual pieces all fitted together. Now when you go to place a piece and realize, oh god, that. Dude, like, you, so that's the thing. It's going to be kind of like Minecraft and things like Terraria and stuff where, and probably other games where, you know, people will create the schematics for this stuff right and it'll show you how to build it i need a lighthouse i need to build a lighthouse it's way too big you've got some options to turn it into what you want there's multiple skills on the menu that let you change the position the rotation the scale of the item uh, decorations can even be moved into the ground or into the air or into each other um, so with a little work and creativity, you can make it fit your needs. It's a pretty robust set of tools. Uh, you can even realign the pop-up arrows uh, to be pointed at the map's global X and Y axis or locally based on the way the decoration is facing. And you can copy the scale and rotation of your last placed item so you can more easily reuse tiles when you need to put a lot of them together for a desired effect. Even once they're placed, you can switch over to the modification menu and adjust any existing item, giving you some power to to fine-tune things after the fact. There's even a new X-ray vision mode uh, so that you don't lose items into the floor. Uh, you just pop it on and you can see a glowing item uh, even if it's through something else uh, and it lets you remove it more easily. Also, if you just need a different perspective while you're creating, just turn into a bee.
and fly around. I'm not the type of person who's going to go deep on creating some grand elaborate build, but uh, even so, I had a lot of fun just messing around with the tools. Uh, Guild Wars 2's world map has expanded a lot over the last decade, so there's already a pretty broad set of decorations available. It's multiple regions and aesthetics. And it's kind of fun to experiment with what's there, even if the result is just some garish dragon statue barfing rainbows. There are also a couple of new types of decoration. I really like these armor stands, which let you create a statue of your character. You just place it down, interact with it, and it will copy what you're currently wearing. Uh, and then you can set it to one of a number of fun poses. It feels like... So, like, so that that's kind of like, um... You know how you could get your heroes? Did you, if you guys ever played Guild Wars 1, uh, and you had your Hall of Monuments, you could get your heroes uh, into... Like, you, you could put them on the monument stand uh, wearing certain types of gear. So this is kind of like the evolution of that like a fitting way to honor the true end game of Guild Wars 2 fashion. There's a matching weapon stand too, so if you want to fill your home with reminders of the many, many hours you spent crafting legendaries, you're good. Naturally, if you're gonna show off your collection, you'll need to invite your friends along. And while they're there... It... Like that, that looks beautiful. Like this is, I tell you what, this is, this is gonna go nuts, man. They're gonna make a lot of money. If you trust them you can let them decorate your homestead too. There's a special permission in the menu that turns on group decorating, uh, but it does mean that they'll have access to your library and can just place and modify things around the map. Overall, I'm impressed with what I've seen. Play it how- I, um, yeah, I, I know, I know someone's gonna wanna be able to do that. Housing is one of the bigger features on the community's wish list, and the tool set here should let more artistic players create some really cool, surprising builds. It's certainly a huge improvement over what's currently in the game. Although, if you are a guild decorator looking on in Envy, ArenaNet did say that the new decoration skills and placement options are going to be ported over to guild halls too. Really, for me, it's the smaller touches that I'm most excited about. A hangout for my alts, a stable for my mounts, and the ability to show off the weapons and items that I've spent time creating. I'm probably not going to spend hours painstakingly creating an entire village from the ground up. But I love the idea of having a space that celebrates my in-game achievements, whether that's through decorations that recognize some big end-game accomplishment, or just a massive statue that shows off some cool armor that I spent ages crafting. Guild Wars 2 players will be able to get their own homestead on August 20, when Janthia Wilds releases. So what do you guys, like, that's, that's pretty awesome, right? Like, that is, that is pretty cool. Um, I, yeah, like I said, they're gonna, they're gonna make a lot of money out of this. Mm-hmm. They're gonna be rolling in the dough, right? Uh, and you want that, too, because, like, you know, as they mentioned, what they say by the end of the expansion, like, 800 items? Jeez, man. Right. Now, I do have one thing, maybe I missed it, um, because I mentioned something about, like, cats being on there or whatever. Um, what about all your miniatures? Right? What about all your miniatures? Can you have them, like, running around as well? That'd be kind of cool. Or at least a certain amount. Um, I also wasn't 100% sure on what he was talking about with the, um, having the other players running around. Like, he, he, he said something like, um... So, hang on, so... <clears throat> I just, I just want to see, because because he had all like these NPC players, right? Playtest Arena, provide me with a preview account full of characters, all of them named after members. Oh, okay. So what, they'll probably be... Oh, I see. Okay, so if you go to your homestead on an alt, and then you leave, that alt will be there, right? Does that work for other people that visit too? Does it like maybe make a copy of it and then leave it? It'd be cool to have like it'd be cool to have like some um you know some farm hands and stable hands and stuff like that walking around like we've obviously you can obviously see like the NPCs and stuff. But it'd be cool to be able to able to be able to see like you know obviously just like you know just people walking around you know that's part of helping out on the homestead. Uh, just to sort of add it that more life as well. Um, but the fact that they, they got like, there was like a mine at, at some point. 
which is pretty nuts. Where was that? Where was the mine? Yeah, here. This is really cool. God, this is gonna be this is gonna be huge, dude. This is gonna be insane, right? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this pretty pretty big exclusive look from PC Gamer uh, on Homesteads. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.